kind of going back to the whole biofeedback thing, um, I have a question if that can be done at home or is that only done in a setting with professionals? Good question. So here we do it in our sessions. Um, there are on the market out there some biofeedback units for home, um, but right now we do it in our sessions where they're monitored. How often do you go about the biofeed, like biofeedback? Like, do you do it every week? Is it more spaced out? Yeah. It, again, it's definitely kiddo specific. So if um, they're ha really having trouble with figuring out where are these pelvic floor muscles? I don't know what I'm doing. Am I even squeezing? I don't even know what I'm squeezing. All I feel is my butt working. Like, what's going on? So we'll do biofeedback probably every session. Um, if I find a lot of um, pelvic floor dysinertia or just in coordination with those muscles they're they're they don't quite know how to turn on and off then yeah we definitely do it probably once a week if the child tolerates it now if if we try it and they're like not all about it then we definitely don't do it again and we have other interventions to achieve the same outcomes so um they're never forced to do it we definitely talk about it if it's appropriate but if they're not into it or nervous at all then we don't do it we have other interventions to achieve the same same outcomes <laughs>